What is good, everybody? Welcome to the channel. If you're coming back to view me a second time, or a third, or a fourth, or a hundredth, welcome back. You guys rock. Um, so, today, what I've got for you is a quick review of the DC McFarlane Multiverse Mega Figure for Killer Croc from Batman Arkham Asylum. Now, everybody should remember the super scary sewer level in the game where you're walking across the rafts and having to creep. Because if you make a misstep, Killer Croc comes to get you. Let's go ahead, punch in, and take a look at this figure. I've got your scent, Batman. I will hunt you down. Alright guys, what we have here is the box for the DC Multiverse Killer Croc Mega Figure by McFarlane Toys. Uh, again, it's a pretty bare-bones box. The only thing that comes in it is Croc. There are no accessories. Uh, you get the stand. You get the trading card with the art from the back of the box. Again, it's going to be a standard McFarlane DC Multiverse box. You've got the Killer Croc. You've got McFarlane Toys. You've got DC Multiverse. It's the same on the other side. On the back, you get a great picture of the game model from Arkham Asylum because this is the version of Killer Croc that it is. Uh, I wish they would have included the chain that goes around the neck or maybe an articulated jaw, but that's fine. Uh, it does say it has 22 points of articulation. This one actually does. It's not like Man Bat or Clayface where it was limited. Uh, the figure does stand up quite well on its own. The joints aren't as loose as Man Bat. If you look, of course, it's got the video game symbol on this side. Killer Croc, Batman Arkham Asylum, McFarlane Toys at the bottom. And, of course, the bottom of the box is just the legal ease that's always there. And here in front of the box, we have Killer Croc himself. Now, if you take a look at the head sculpt, the head sculpt is fantastic. The yellowed eyes, the teeth, I like the paint apps for that. The textures are amazing. I notice on the chest they didn't go with as geometric a texture as this, which is good because it actually makes it look and feel more scaly in hand. This figure does feel good in hand. Uh, it's heavy, it's chunky, the joints are all tight. If you look, it does have the collar here. Uh, the collar is actually glued in place. Coming down, you can see the textures on the pants, the rope on the belt. Uh, it looks like the prison pants are a bit wet and muddied at the bottom. Uh, the toes do have the up and down articulation. If you go back to the back, of course, the sculpting goes all the way around the figure. Uh, the paint apps back here are just as good because it does have that nice black wash going down the back to make him look more crocodilian. Uh, again, you go down, the pants sculpt is great. The metal wash is great down here on the leg manacles. Um, but he does. He has the standard McFarlane 22-point articulation. Uh, you get the shoulders... You get the ab crunch. The neck is articulated a little extra. You get the swivel at the bicep. You get the hand swivel. You get the hand rotation. You do get decent leg rotation out of this guy. Uh, of course, he can do a little bit of the splits. You got the double jointed knees, the toe rock, and the toe pivot. Plus, you also have the toes that raise and lower so that actually gives him a little more than 22 so mcfarlane actually knocked this guy out of the park pretty well like i said just take a look at that face it's a face only a mother could love but if you've ever played the game you'll definitely remember that face guys thanks for hanging out today and enjoying the review for the dc multiverse mega figure killer croc from the video game arkham asylum uh, if you should want to purchase one of these figures of your very own, I will leave a link in the description below. That way you can grab one from possibly Big Bad Toy Store if it's still in stock, or if I find that it's not, I'll leave a different link. Guys, the views have been going up again and the subscriptions have been going up again. Thank you so much. This weekend, something big's going on in Kentucky. I don't know if you guys are have heard but lexington figure fest is happening it's sponsored by toy headquarters 
You can find them at Toy Vomit on Instagram or at Toy Vomit on Google. You can just search and find their website, or you can go to LexingtonFigureFest.com. Now, I will tell you, it does have some special guests. There's 11,000 square feet of toys and action figures. If you love toys, you love wrestling, and you love all the chicanery that goes with it, and the debauchery, please, by all means, show up and show out. Because there are two very special guests. If you are toy hunters and you enjoy the toy community and you have seen their videos on YouTube, All Ego Ethan Page will be there, plus Dan Housen. Guys, I don't know if you know who Dan Housen is, but search him out on YouTube. Excellent wrestling talent, excellent personality. I laugh at him quite a bit. He's in a lot of Ethan Page's videos. These guys are really big collectors also. So if you want to know anything about toys or you're just wrestling fans in general, check out Lexington Figure Fest on Sunday, September 18th. Now, it does have a $10 early bird admission at 10 a.m. and $5 at the door after that. But there is 11,000 square feet of toys and these two special guests that I will show pictures of at the end of the video. Guys, I hope you're staying safe out there. I hope you're finding everything you want in your collection. Or, I hope you're at least on the hunt this week. I will see you later.